How's it going, everybody? Andrew Zarian here, Wrestling Observer Live. We're here every day, Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern with Brian Alvarez, Saturdays with Jim Valley, and Sundays with me. Happy Sunday. Happy Dynasty Sunday. Show's kicking off soon here. AW Dynasty, a new pay-per-view to the lineup. Big main event. Can Swerve do it? This actually, this entire card is stacked. We're going to break this entire card down. I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think of it? Are you happy with it? A lot of discourse online regarding this pay-per-view. Listen, it's a stacked pay-per-view. Also, last night, Matt Hardy, broken Matt Hardy returned to TNA. What does this mean for AEW? What does this mean for him and that company? But he's back with a broken gimmick. Got a big reaction in Vegas. Nice. There was like 1,500 people in that building. Also, what I'm thrilled about, and we're going to talk about this a little bit in, when we get to SmackDown. New WWE tag titles. I, I've, you know, it's rare to see the, the majority of wrestling fans agree on something. It's really rare. I got to tell you, almost everybody loves this belt. The biggest criticism was, well, I could have had some color. You know what? General, this thing is beautiful. Back to an old school uh, tag title that I grew up with. Obviously that and a whole lot more here on the show. Again, Dynasty coming up. Big pay-per-view for AEW. Let's see what they could do. Will we get a surprise? Will Jack Perry show up? We're going to find out this and a whole lot more when we continue with the show. Wrestling Observer Live here on Sports Byline. Stay tuned. Wrestling Observer Live here on Sports Byline. Big pay-per-view night for AEW. Dynasty. I wonder if they'll ever talk about where this was supposed to be. That's what I want to know. Maybe we'll find out. This is a interesting show. I'm gonna I'm gonna go into this because on paper this looks fantastic. I I you know like like most AEW pay per views they look great. I I I'm curious how we do getting out of the show where where we are post Dynasty. We're gonna talk about this in the next couple segments. But before we do that, let's go into WWE SmackDown. Big week for WWE. Obviously, this is the first normal week post-WrestleMania. Things have settled, right? Give it a week or two. Things kind of settle down. Feuds start getting built up. We kind of see the direction they're headed. We saw on Raw the new tag titles. MJ, my producer here. Am I wrong to yes, hate sir. those things? The, the Raw the ones? The Raw ones, yeah. The Raw ones, I, it's almost like they were... Okay, there's two things I liked when they got when they then when they did the ones on SmackDown. I realized these two two titles couldn't be any different. Any different, shape. I know. But you know what's the so problem? One looks some... so much better than the other one. <laughs> That's the problem. I mean, yeah, <laughs> but they're different, and we will get used to them. I, I'm not I too guess. About I that. I don't like the SmackDown one, but the but uh, I don't like the Raw ones. But the SmackDown ones are stunning. They did a great job with this. Uh, Raw was out of Montreal. We got to see a big moment for Sami Zayn to headline that with Chad Gable. Chad turns on him at the end, suplexes him as he's embracing his wife. I thought it was a fantastic, fantastic moment. And then Good on business. SmackDown, the show ended with essentially uh, Kevin Owens. I mean, the story was that Kevin Owens got destroyed, right? That was the big story here. Yeah, it was the top of the. It was in the middle. It was the top of the middle hour. Um, and this solo Sokoa character they're creating out of nowhere. The fact that they were able to get Roman cheered eight days was it? What was it? Like eight or nine days after uh, losing the title, and he yeah. was presumably, arguably one of the most hated people in wrestling as far as a heel persona. And they were chanting, "We want Roman." I mean, in two weeks when he comes back he's gonna get some huge baby face cheers oh 100 i don't know if it'll last but mm. yeah smackdown started with aj styles defeating la knight la knight came out to a great response this is a match to earn a wwe title uh undisputed 
championship match at Backlash. So it's going to be AJ Styles and, and Cody for the title. You know what? Cool match. Have we seen it? We haven't seen it, have we? If we if they've done it, it's been years since it's been done. So it's it's it'll be very refreshing. I, I, I'm wondering if we got it in New Japan. Yeah, we may have got it there. Mm. Maybe, maybe I, I don't know if it was around the same time frame, but very cool. Uh, glad that going in that direction, you can see the trajectory now, which is good. He's not, it's not a nothing uh, match, you know, for his first match back. Uh, first match as champion, I should say. Nick Aldis, Triple H, came out to award the new tag team titles. Austin Theory, Grayson Waller were given the new titles. Triple H wanted a handshake and they disrespected him and all this threatened them. You know, that guy could still wrestle. I don't know why he's not. Yeah, but I got to tell you, I love this persona, this this William Regal-esque. Uh, yeah. Something about, a, something about authoritative British guys that works in this That works world, always in this, yeah. Straight, they're very straight, narrowed, and they call it down the middle. And they side with the baby faces most of the time. I like I, I like how the presentation and we'll see later in the segment with Paul Heyman. Um yeah. I, I think he works he does good. Yeah, I thought this was good too. Uh Street Profits defeated the New Catch Republic, Legato del Fantasma, uh, and AOP for a shot at the WWE tag titles. So th they're, they're starting to set everything up here. They're telling you the big picture. Mm -hmm for the pay-per-view coming up, which they've done a great job with. Bloodline segment, this was great. Solo comes to the ring with Paul Heyman. They were looking for Kevin Owens all night. Heyman starts talking, and out of nowhere, a We Want Roman chant breaks out. All of a sudden, we mm. see Kevin Owens getting thrown under the stage, in the back. I mean, he's getting beat up, and he's covered in blood. Tama Tonga comes out. What a great presentation to Tama Tonga. He looks good, too. He looks fantastic. Oh, yeah. You know what? Doing it perfectly. Tom and Tonga comes out uh, behind him to continue to beat down. Uh, Solo would hit the Samoan spike on KO, and they end the segment. This was the big segment from the show. This is telling a story here. And I don't know, does this lead to a civil war where the Rock runs one side and Roman and the Usos are on the other? I mean, there's, there's so many moving parts here. That when Roman comes back, it's going to tell a great story. As long as we don't get this turning into NWO, black, red, white, green. <laughs> you know, Japan. listen. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Bloodline Japan. <laughs> yeah, we should do all of that. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's happening. <laughs> it's happening. It's happening. Here you go. All over again. Everything new is old. We're going to start talking about invasion soon. <laughs> Please no. Yeah. All this threatened Heyman also mm -hmm. uh, about this. Santos Escobar that defeated was a, Carlito. That was my favorite. Yeah. yeah and Naomi. Up, but that was my favorite part. Uh, uh, all this, yeah. Uh, yeah. Santos Escobar defeated Carlito, and Naomi defeated Bailey via DQ. Tiffany Stratton attacked both of them. So that's uh, leading into that. Uh, you know what? It was a fine SmackDown here. Also, on Friday, they released a bunch of people. Yes. Who, who did they release? There's Do you have the full list? Five here? names we know. Yeah, it's yeah. It should be right below. Keep reading down. My my <laughs> screen is locked and I can't, so that's why I'm asking okay. you to do it. I'll read. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'll read it down. <laughs> uh, Jinder Mahal, Zion yeah. Lee, um, Zion, Zion Quinn, Quinn Veer, Veer. Sangha. Yeah. Those okay, are here we go. The, the five people that weren't in a story, um, basically, is how I looked at it. And according to Sean Ross App, some of these people's like trajectories like changed and they weren't they weren't progressing yeah so i and and you know gender you could say budget cuts say whatever uh xia lee was scheduled to be in that battle royal on raw for the women's title on yeah Monday. so this was came out of nowhere so mm. well gender also said he quit that's what he yeah. he had said and now i guess he could have that match with tony khan that big feud, <laughs> him and Hook, right? <laughs> Wasn't that the match, him and that Hook? Was it. Yeah, that was that was it. Um, now we'll see what where they go with these guys. Listen, but, the last uh, time Gender got released, remember, last time he got released, he got super jacked, came back, and won the WWE title. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, it's possible. 
Yeah, he, he can do it. Some of these guys, I mean, some of these people will uh, um, benefit from this, right? Just like last time. Now, Veer and Sangha, I don't know. Um, it, but the rest of these guys, uh, you know, Zion Quinn was rare, rarely used. So yeah. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. You know, it, it is it is an interesting time for them over there, obviously. And yeah, uh, I found it interesting that they did a blood angle on SmackDown. Uh, oh. So that was interesting on on yeah. Fox. <laughs> on Fox, yeah, on Fox. So I, I, you know, this is a different direction to the company. This is they're 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 alluding to things are going to change. I don't know how much they're going to change, but they're alluding to that, especially with the Netflix stuff looming for January. They really know that in a way to keep the, the interest, the perception that there's something happening, they got to do these things. Which I listen, guys, I this is great. You know, I thought that was a really good angle. I thought, you know, when you use it properly, it works. Wrestling has changed. It's back to wrestling. When we come back, we're going to talk about more wrestling here. We have a lot to break down with AEW. Especially out of that, that scrum, out of the press conference that Tony held this week. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the pay-per-view. We're going to talk about Collision and a whole lot more here on Wrestling Observer Live on Sports Byline. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Wrestling Observer Live here on Sports Byline. Tony Khan held his media call late this week. A couple interesting tidbits here. One, uh, he was asked about CM Punk making a statement about paying his own medical expenses when he had the tricep tear. And Tony stated that he was unaware that that happened. And if it did, he would be covering the cost. He would reimburse him. I mean, that, that's the right thing to do. If it's true. As far as running the all-in brawl footage... He said that TBS was happy with the rating and they added and it added entry to the FTR and Bucks match on Sunday, which is a ladder match. He also confirmed AW and Ring of Honor trios titles will be unified today on Sunday. He also expects the full library of content, AW content, to be part of the next media rights deal, which is still exclusive to WBD right now. So a couple parts here, right? Um, I can't say there's progress being made on this deal. I, if I'm going to speculate, you know, if anything is done close, if we're close to anything, uh, upfronts are happening. And if we are close, I'm willing to bet that they're trying to make it for upfronts to announce this. Forget about what the internet is saying. I saw so much discourse about this, how it's not going well. And Tony had to hire somebody. I mean, that's a very normal thing to hire a firm to negotiate your deal. Very normal. At any point of the deal. Things change. Timelines change. Outside elements affect things. We know, you know, the TV industry is totally changing between linear and digital. What you thought six months ago may not be the case today. You know, they're disruptors that enter markets like a TikTok. TikTok's a disruptor and it's changed the entire way that people consume television. You're competing with everything. All these things play a factor, but I, I'm willing to bet that it's they, they we'll find out something soon. But tonight's pay-per-view, interestingly enough, is on multiple platforms. I believe it's on YouTube TV. You can order it on YouTube TV. It's on Fight. It's on BR. It's on traditional pay-per-view. I believe YouTube TV is international, though, right? I, I well, they, they, remember they opened it for the last one. Yeah, they opened up Triller or Fight TV. I know that. Mm. Let's see. Watch pay-per-view events. Let's see on YouTube TV. How do I even do this? I don't know. I'll find <laughs> out. <laughs> but uh, listen, they 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 don't have a they don't have a, a BR is not the answer. BR is a band aid to a dead platform. So once that deal is done, we know that they're gonna m go over to wherever whatever Max is Absolutely. gonna provide them. 
just now it's a matter of okay are we gonna is this a paid service or are you paying extra monthly for AEW access are you paying monthly for pay-per-views because they are doing 11 pay-per-views now 15 or 13 with ring of honor right something like that yeah absolutely or, or 12 with ring of honor I, I i can't remember right now i have the, i have it in front of me so you know it becomes can can your audience justify spending 60 dollars every month when the other when the other guys are free you know essentially interesting stuff but we also got a great collision last night i very much like this bunkhouse match what did you think of it? I mean, Danielson's nuts, and he cut that promo at the end. He's like, everybody's asking me, oh. why the hell am I doing this? Do you know what I liked about this the most? Jeans and knee pads. Jeans Old and school, knee pads, 1985 yeah. bunkhouse bra. I loved it. Yeah, it we'll get to awesome. that, but let's start off with Adam Copeland, Mark <laughs> Briscoe, Eddie Kingston defeated Top Flight. Powerhouse Hobbs defeated CJ Esparza. CJ Esparza, yeah. There you go. Thank you. I'm talking to myself. Like, I got a producer in my ear. Nobody's talking back to me. Just me responding to myself. <laughs> Don Callis said that he, he cashed in a favor with New Japan office to make Powerhouse Hobbs for the title. I think I don't know if they made a boo-boo and they didn't mention that. Last week, you mean? Yeah. When they made the match. Um, they made the match, but they didn't announce it was for the title. Right. Very cool. Maybe Listen, it, that's great. I, I think that's that's it now is the IWGP the main title on that show? That's a great question. It, it seems to be positioned that way, but oh, oh he's not on the pay per view tonight. I imagine we'll hear him like somewhere. Yeah. Maybe he's uh maybe he'll do commentary for uh the uh, the Danielson Osprey match. Danielson match. Wow, yeah. you know what? That's wild, right? I think about it. this this paper and we're gonna talk about it in the next segment because I want to get through this, but this pay per view is so stacked. That day, mm -hmm. you don't even have mocks on it. W wild. So, uh, Callus makes a favor, uh, calls in a favor, and now it's for the title for Wednesday. The Guns with Jay White defeated the Acclaim with Billy Gunn. Danielson does a promo backstage. He said Don Callis didn't have confidence in Osprey, which is why Callis sent in the family after him. Osprey entered the frame. And said he had nothing to do with those guys attacking Danielson on Wednesday. So they're, they're showing the separation here. Bunkhouse yeah, Brawl. Starting to, they're starting to split him. Yep. Blackpool Combat yep. Club. Against Don Cal's family, Takeshita, and Kyle Fletcher. I like this new look for Kyle Fletcher. He looks great. Really nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He looks great. I like it. And I, I, they did it. This was a fantastic, fantastic match. We also got a fired up Willow Nightingale cutting a promo on Julia Hart. You know, Julia's hurt. So I don't know how this match is going to go. I really don't know. Because she's a little banged up. Obviously, the story is to put that title on Willow to, con you know, start that program with Mercedes. But is this gonna, Will this be a big smoke and mirrors match, you think? I don't know. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, we'll find out mm -hmm. very soon. Okay. Sky Blue defeated mm -hmm. Layla Hirsch. And the main event, Pac and FTR defeated the Elite, Okada, Nick, and Matthew Jackson. This was so good. Yo, Okada's so good. I, I, mm -hmm. I, he's so good, and he has such a great presence. And American-style Okada is, is great. Um, you know, where do we go from here? You can see the difference in performance levels watching him and a lot of the other guys. It's, it's so obvious. Yeah. And then we got we had Rampage also. The high-flying 420 four-way elimination match. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Van Dam defeated Commander Isaiah Cassidy and Lee Johnson. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to get Van Dam on the show tonight. I hope so. Right? I would love to see Van Dam on tonight's show. I mean, they put him over. And he's, you know, people love him. I actually like it when he's there just a little bit. I maybe he maybe he does maybe does a run in or something tonight. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Sakazaki defeated. Uh, who did who did she face? Emmy Sakara. Emmy uh, Emmy uh, Emmy uh, Sakara. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we also had the Rampage exclusive, uh, Angelo Park. Oh yeah, they showed it. 
Angel Parker in the he ring, did. presumably to announce his retirement when Ruby Soho comes out and says uh, they have to fight for something because she's pregnant. Nice Big little, moment on that nice show. Nice, cool segment. Yeah. And then we got Kyle O'Reilly, Matt Bernard, and Rocky Romero defeating the Undisputed Kingdom, Roderick Strong, Matt Taven, and Mike Bennett. All right, cool. Cool. We got a lot going on here. A lot of stuff happening. You know, I got to tell you, though, that their TV has been a lot better. And Dynamite was a good show. And I thought this was a really good show. I like the Saturday show. I do. What do you think about them moving Rampage permanently to that, that uh, 10 o'clock hour? On that 10 o'clock? That, you know, this yeah. is the second week we've had a three-hour show. I kind of like it there. I don't know. It probably won't work in the fall when football comes back. But for now, I, I don't mind it. I don't know. You know, I, I, they're trying new things. I mean, obviously, this was, it was for a reason they did this. But I, I don't think it's an accident. I think they look at it as, well, let's see how this does. You know, Cause like Battle of the Belts did fine with the rating. Uh, it, it didn't plunge last week. And I'm willing to bet this isn't going to plunge. And then we they did well with that uh, Rampage after Dynamite thing a couple of weeks ago, too. They had to preempt them. So I think they're playing around with the idea. I think the bigger question for AEW will be, you know, what does WWE do with their schedule with nights? You know, does yeah. Raw change nights? Does SmackDown change nights? Does, does SmackDown need to be on a Friday? I know they never like being on Friday. They love Thursday. But then you got football. So let's say SmackDown moves to a Thursday. Do you move to Friday now? Can you move the show to Friday, collision to Friday? And what does that do to your numbers? Now you're on at 8 o'clock on a Friday, opposed to a Saturday at 8. I'm willing to bet there'll be a big shift. There's definitely going to be some movement as far as nights no, but, we're watching wrestling. Yeah, but... All, you know, we'll see. We got to wrap it up here. Going to a quick break and coming back with Dynamite. No, I'm sorry. Not Dynamite. D Dynasty. We'll be right back after this. Wrestling Observer Live. Wrestling Observer Live here on Sports Byline. AEW Dynasty starting soon. <laughs> Let's talk about this. What a stacked card. This is a fantastic show. This is, a, this is the first dynasty that they're doing. There is a purpose to adding the show. I will say that. And we're going to see it play out. Whether or not they commit to what they want to do or not. I don't know at this point. But there's a reason why the show was created. There's a reason why they felt that the need to add another pay-per-view. Especially looking at how they've done with their pay-per-views. The last pay-per-view, which was Revolution, did over 180,000 buys. Obviously, it was Sting's retirement, but that makes it the third or fourth most watched pay-per-view for AEW. Very cool. Let's see where this lands. Let's go through the card here. Pre-show match, Orange Cassidy and Shibata versus Shane Taylor, Lee Moriarty. Cassidy, Shibata takes it? What do you think, MG? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, get the get the crowd going off the bat. Yeah, that that makes sense to me. We also have Trent Beretta and Matt Seidel in the pre-show. Fine pre-show matches. We're seeing, you know, we're seeing the change with Trent Beretta. It's he, happening. He's got to go over here, right? Yeah, he has to. We also have AW Trios match, and this is on the pre-show, and this is a unification yes. match. <laughs> okay, that's how stacked this show is. This is on the pre-show. It's a unification match for the for the for the trios titles. Max Caster, Anthony Bowen, and Billy Gunn versus the Ring of Honor six man tag team champions, Jay White, Austin Gunn, and Colton Gunn. Who should win this? Bullet Club or should it be uh the acclaimed? I think it needs to be the acclaimed. I want to see Bullet Club Gold go on to something else. This I, I, yeah. I feel like they've been mired in this circle and they just keep doing the same thing. Maybe uh, Juice Robinson comes back and that'll that'll spice things up. And, and you know what? I that. think you're right. Since Juice been out, yeah. Since Juice yeah. has been out, it's slowed down. I forgot. And you know what? That 
we we constantly talk about the MJFs returning and the Kennys returning and you know Adam Cole returning and what how great that roster is going to be when everybody is back firing on all cylinders with that top tier. Uh th that dude was is in that mix for sure. He he was one of my favorite parts about that show. About Collision, uh, when, yeah. When they were together. Yeah. Yeah. And I when he got hurt, it just it kind of spiraled it so maybe he comes back in they do something different with them i i mean if they bring him back in and they keep the titles on him uh sure but yeah i, I personally i also with you i think jay white needs to be in a single he needs to be doing something in yeah. very near near future yeah i i mean there's a lot of those you know between jay white and between uh malachi uh i mean there's so much talent there that you could do so much with Adam Copeland, Mark Briscoe, Eddie Kingston versus Malachi Black, Brody King, and Buddy Matthews. I, I, this is obviously leading to Adam Copeland and Malachi, right? This is this is the plan, and they're just extending yeah. this. Probably double or nothing, maybe. Uh, maybe a double or nothing. Okay, cool. Yeah. I mean, I would have loved for this to be a singles match. You know, well, I, I think, think the story here is going to be the story here is that them working the Adam Copeland's team working together. Um, but I think House of Black takes it. House of Black takes mm. it. By the way, tickets are on sale currently for Forbidden Door. And here in Long Island, which I'll be at. That was supposed to be at Arthur Ashe. They're <laughs> taking me 10 minutes the other way. <laughs> Arthur Ashe is 10 minutes this way. UBS is 10 minutes the other way. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Ah, here we go. Brian Danielson, Will Ospreay. Uh, this this very well will be the match of the night. These two are going to do everything possible. I I would be perfectly fine this being a thirty minute draw or twenty whatever draw you want to do twenty minute draw, and they go for double or nothing. The the, the words write itself. I don't want to see either one lose. Right. And I guess that's Someone's the beauty in this. Some somebody's going to have to lose, but I mean, it should be it should be Danielson. But I feel like Danielson loses too much. So if there's some sort of weird upset where Danielson gets the upper hand on Will, could that change I anything? Think, I think this is where we might see the um, the split with him and the Don Callis family. And maybe it, it yeah, maybe they come in, they up, interrupt, they, they do cost, something. They cost him, yeah, yeah, something like that. This is a match I did not think I'd be fascinated by at all. And now I am very curious about. And that is Hook versus Chris Jericho. Jericho has to beat Hook here. Yeah. He it has to. That way, doesn't it? He has to. And I'm not saying that I'm advocating for Chris Jericho to be the FTW world champion. I just think that he has to beat him to, to add an, a, a level to this. Wacky match that now I'm very curious about. Roderick Strong, Kyle O'Reilly for the international title. We have an international title. We have an intercontinental. We have a world. <laughs> we had an All-Atlantic. Now it's the international. Don't think about it too much or your brain will explode. Yeah, we, need, we, need, we need a, a South regional title. We need a mid-South mid title. We need an all uh, Pacific title. Who takes us? Soon you think there will be titles for every every? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the Alabama uh, Heritage think... Cup title. That's a new one that they're going <laughs> to announce. Mm, I think uh, I think Roderick Strong uh, retains here. Roderick Strong retains. Cool. Okay. I I I I, I hope they do a little bit more with Kyle because. Right. It's been kind of like they announced it, they're doing their thing, but it's it's like fourth or fifth on the list. It's getting totally it, lost in the yeah, shuffle. It needs to get built up a little more. It needs more time yeah. to, to simmer and get going. It just feels like this is beat one of a, of a multi-layered story. We also have Okada, Continental Championship on the line. Okada defends against Pac. This is going to be an unbelievable match. 
No question yeah, I'm about push it. Back on you when you said the Danielson Osprey match would be the best match tonight. I'm going with this one is the banger. Of the I, night. I mean, listen, man. You know, Roderick and Kyle are going to have a banger, <laughs> right? Osprey, Osprey and Will are going to have a banger. Okada and Pac. I mean, it goes on and on. Julia Hart, Willow. I mean, but that obviously Julia's banged up, but that story is a set up Mercedes and what we do here. Mm -hmm. That's coming up. Fine. Great. Then we got that ladder match for the vacant AEW tag titles between the Bucks and FTR. We got Tony gonna, Storm. I know. Well, that <laughs> one's going to be great. I, I mean, the Bucks should take this for sure. Um, yeah. It, as far as to build up their heat and their smart. Yeah. Now this yeah. is where we get Jack Perry. Jack Perry and that's where in. we get Jack Perry to join in on on you know just being total uh, jerks, mm. you know, and maybe that's the big surprise that they have. So Jack Perry shows up. That's another layer here, and then they could do it again at Double or Nothing. They could have a rematch at maybe Double or Nothing. Come, maybe he'll throw some someone through glass. <laughs> Is that what he does? He just carries sheets of glass now with him. <laughs> well, he, someone's gonna get hurt. I'm telling you. That's gonna get that uh, act is gonna get tired. They got they gotta be, they gotta be careful with that for sure. They got they at some point they gotta go look. It's in the past. I think you know what it should be. It. Every time he comes out, it's just a bigger sheet of glass. He starts <laughs> off with like a little hand mirror, and he starts and then now he's like hauling from Home Depot mm. just sheets of glass. <laughs> like what's they gotta going flat on that truck with the yeah. with the whole pallet of it. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Mm. I don't know that Jack Perry. He's a troublemaker. AW World Women's Title on the line. Tony Storm and Thunder Rosa. They'll have a great match. Don't you know on this one, yeah. No, but this you know what? I, I got to tell you, I like good. that Tony is changing her style a little bit back to how it was. The vaudeville act is not working in the ring. No, no, yeah. And they try to, you know, they turn the lights on and they try to tell you, hey, she's taking this seriously. I thought the promo she gave on, um, I believe they showed it on Collision uh, last night where it was right after she had lipstick uh, wiped all over her face and she cut this huge promo. I thought that was one of her better promos she's done with this character. And they didn't yeah. have the black and white filter on when she did the promo. Yeah, so, I mean, they were telling you it's serious now with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. AW World Champion Samoa Joe defends against Swerve Strickland. This is interesting. Does Samoa Joe lose the title to Swerve? Does Hangman play a part in this? Does MJF play a part in this? Time has passed. The last time we saw Max was December 30th. Wow, four months. Wow. It's been four months already. The right Is it the right moment for Swerve? That is the question. How hot this man was in December and how hot he is today. I mean, listen, it, it's he's still on fire. That guy, it, he is carved out to be the future in that company on the top level. I think you do it. I think this is the chance to do it. What do you say? Unless I, unless I have a better end game, yeah, I'm with you. Uh, depending on what the what what is the plan for double or nothing and going forward into the summer. Um, but yeah, I think Swerve is champion. He's hot. Now would be the time to do it. But then again, Samoa Joe is so hot too. So I'm torn on this one. And that and that's the great thing, right? It's yeah. like there's not a clear cut um well, choice listen, of who should win. I, but but listen, I, I and I'm gonna for me, I, I I'm looking at this card and I'm saying, My God, like I there's no Kenny Omega, there's no John Moxley, there's no CM Punk. You know, there's no Max on this card. It, it's a very different AEW if you really think about it. Because there's so many key people from a year ago that are off of this. But you look at what they've done here and they're telling you a story. Swerve Strickland, they're making him tonight. You know, it, I mean, I'm obviously, right? He's the main event. He, they're making this guy. They're, they're telling you he's part of the future. You have Hook in a position where Chris Jericho, where he's in a pay-per-view position now. They're, Jack Perry's returning. You know, there's a lot of change happening. This is a very different... Okada's on this card this year. Will Ospreay's Will on Ospreay. this card this year. Yep. You know, the company is changing, and they're setting up the future of their brand. 
But you look at this and you can't you can't say this is a bad show. But yet only 6,500 tickets have been sold for this show. So what's the problem? Perception. Perception is the problem. They're going to have, uh, I mean, this could possibly be one of their greatest pay-per-views that they've put on. And we come out here tomorrow and all those post shows that you see that happen after the show talk about the greatest show ever. But what will it mean? Will they sell more tickets with Swerve as world champion or are they going to continue to sell what they're selling with Samoa Joe? These are all great questions. I don't have an answer. But man, I hope Swerve wins it and this is a great moment for him because the number of opponents that he could have, uh, it's endless. Endless. Which I love. And that's the great thing about professional wrestling. That's the great thing about what they do at AEW. WWE is very glitz and glam. AEW is still uh, the wrestling I'm familiar with that I grew up with. And that's why we're going to be watching this show. When we come back, we're going to touch on a few more things to wrap up the show. I know a lot of you guys are getting ready for the pay-per-view. Wrestling Observer Live here on Sports Byline. Stay tuned. Wrestling Observer Live here on Sports Byline. Final few minutes of the show. Everybody's getting their drinks. Everybody's ordering their food for a W Dynasty that's coming on here. Also, last night, I, I wanted to touch on this. Matt Hardy, lights go off, lights come on. Matt Hardy's in the ring. He is now essentially challenging for the TNA title. What did you think of this? I mean, first of all, great presentation. 1,500 people in that building in the Palms Casino. Uh, TNA, it, it looks so much fun. Yeah, it's a different product for sure. It's definitely getting better. I don't think, from what he said online last night, I don't think he signed a contract. So this is kind of a, um, yeah, you know, he's just he's doing that that uh, free agent thing right now. Yeah, well, I right. have you seen he's in he's in incredible shape right now. Yeah, he lost some weight for sure. I mean, he he's in he looks incredible. I mean, the good question is, does he go back to WWE? Is there an opportunity for him to be there? The Bo Dallas stuff is happening, you know? There's a, there's, there's a chance. I don't know how we'll fit in. You know, maybe they do the broken gimmick one last time and they try to do it the proper way over there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's the answer, but he's obviously in TNA and he's challenging uh, for the title. For, good for him. You know, and it's amazing, right? That crowd ate that thing up. If it was on normal TV, maybe nobody would have reacted the way they did. It just shows you the yeah. presentation and how you position people tells the story here. Interesting stuff. Very interesting stuff. Guys, this was a blast. I'm going to go order my food. I'm going to order my, my dinner. I'm going to get some drinks. And I'm going to sit and I'm going to order this pay-per-view and watch it with you guys. All right, that's it. We're done. See you all next time, guys. Take care.